Hey, what's up, ecosystem? Welcome back to Tuesday Nights Live on Auto Transport Intel. This is the Car Shipping Business Channel. Every Tuesday night, my goal is to bring you another trade show level business presentation to you wherever you are because your business deserves the latest in auto transport news. How does it work? Where do I put it? Is it hard to learn? Do I buy the equipment? Who installs it? What kind of support is there? How does it get fixed? How long does it last? For car dealers, car buyers, auto auctions, automakers, car carriers, tell me someone out there that doesn't want high quality images of cars they own, that they're going to buy, or that they don't want to have to buy. Right now, vehicle values are so crazy. You need to know exactly what you're getting. You need it fast, online, with a click, and that's what Black Widow does. Tonight, we have Jason Hawk, CEO of Black Widow, Joel Hawk, GM of Pogue Chevrolet, Win Trong, International Director at Black Widow, Rob Ruth, President of Bob Ruth Ford, Chris Hoke, CEO and co-founder at Dealer Q, and Steve Gurch, Auto Auction of Montana, plus Ty Thompson of Cars on the Move. So this is a big show. I'm a bit nervous, but please join the live chat, ask your questions, share your thoughts, grow your business, because it's Tuesday Nights Live on Auto Transport Intel. I'm Jay, your host. Welcome back to the show. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Auto Transport Intel. It is Tuesday Nights Live, and I'm Jay, your host. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me again on a Tuesday night. Uh, we're getting over the holiday weekend, so this is the first big night in June, maybe. Um, so if this is your first time here, do me a favor. Please do feel welcome. Please do. Uh, this is an open forum. This is for all the verticals in automotive, dealers, carriers, auctions, dispatchers, brokers, uh, tech companies, insurance, all feel welcome at Auto Transport Intel. There are no stupid questions. Make a friend. Say hello. Please do say hello in the live chat. Share your URL, phone number, email address, website, company name, where are you at? What do you need? What do you got? What do you want to share? Do that. It's uh, Auto Transport Intel. It's Tuesday Nights Live. And at the quarter hour, we go into industry news, social media news, national news, front of the store, back of the store, what's being talked about, and lots of photo stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. If I, I don't know how to get through it all. But my goal is to get to the 45 minute mark now. I'm going to bring in Ty, and we're going to introduce Jason Hawk, CEO of Black Widow. If you've been watching Cars on the Move, you've seen Jason. He's also been on a Tuesday night before. Uh, but this is the Black Widow show. This is the big one. And we're going to then also, we're going to start stacking and adding. We're going to add Joel of Pogue Chevrolet. That's his brother. We're going to add Win Trong, international director. And we're going to have a Black Widow party. And then what we're going to do is we're going to keep talking about Black Widow. And then we're going to start adding uh, Rob Ruth. Chris Hoke, Steve Gurch, 
and um, because there's a lot to talk about, um, and I and I in the in the beginning there I mentioned some of the questions I had asked Jason. What is like the top ten questions you get? And he just started rattling off questions. So there's a lot of information to share, to learn, and I'll tell you what we want to do. Um, do me a favor. Please do leave a like, and you can also click the share button. We're going to be live for two hours, so you got time. Click share, click copy, grab that YouTube link, text it, email it, share it on social media. Send it to your buddies on LinkedIn. I know they want to know how this works. Do that. Send it to them. And also, anybody that's just not sure, or maybe, you know what, we've got executives now going to autotransportintel.com. Click on sign up. Talk to Ty. Get in the car shipping roundtable. Get on the email blast. Get a hold of us. Get in touch. And we want to help. We really do. We're the Auto Transport Intel Car Shipping Business Channel. We go live four times a week. So I'll tell you what, right after this, we're going to go into the live chat. Stick around. That is Holly. Visit holly.com, powered by United Road. Thank you, United Road. And also, uh, go to gonvta.org. That is the National Vehicle Transporters Alliance, launched by a sister company of United Road and its association for small to mid-sized carriers that want to help. So find out more how they can help you. Gonvta.org. Let's go into the live chat. Wow, there it is, man. ATI to the moon. Thank you so much, Ty. Um, that is, uh, that is, that apparently seems to be what's happening. Um, so thank you so much, Ty, for reminding us all and your contribution, your participation, uh, and just overall party love support. Thank you so much, man. That's awesome. Now I got to back it up. I'm going to go, oh, and Ty got into the live chat first. Photos move cars. Yes. That was that's what Ty says. Photos move cars. Well, they do move cars, and we're gonna we're gonna actually prove that tonight. So thank you so much, Ty. Joel Hawk is in here. What's going on, Joel? Silver Mint Fast Eddie Transport on the move. No gold bar is too big or too small. We will grab them all. Nice. That's uh, that's actually really good thinking. That's the best way to stay in business. Just get all the gold. Um. Kimberly is here. What's going on? Welcome to Tuesday Nights Live with your host, Jay. That's me. Join the live chat. Say hi. Ask your questions. Share your company. Join the discussion. We're glad you're here. We certainly are. And I really do appreciate it. Carlos Braxton, ACB Logistics in the house. Part of the core. Feeling the love. Thank you, Carlos. Finest Home Recovery, John. Hey, what's up? Finest is officially in Florida. Ooh, look at that. Chris Chamberlain jumping in the front of the line. <laughs> Thank you all so much. You know how to ring the bell, the cowbell, that is. And uh, Chris, um, you've been in the car shipping roundtable. You've been an avid fan. Um, we see you all the time in here. And even, uh, you know what's neat? Even jumping in on DOT compliance, that's how you know the core. When you see them in the DOT compliance, asking questions, sharing information and thoughts. I love that. Thank you so much for participating. I really do appreciate it. And there he is in the live chat too. Chris, hello guys from New Jersey. Super Dispatch is in the house. Photos definitely move cars. Excited for tonight's show. How's everyone doing tonight? Yes, Super Dispatch. Photos move cars. John Cochran, LAI Auto Transport out of DC. What's up, John? Um, let's oh Vistaga, powered by Peterson. What's up, Vistaga? Another avid viewer. Thank you so much for tuning in. And joining us, Ooh, Sarah from Black Widow. She's in the live chat. She's excited for the show tonight. Thank you, Sarah. Mark Grodeke, Superflow Systems. He's here. Yes. Yes, Mark. Yes. We're going to learn a lot about Black Widow. It's really, it's going to be a great show. 
It's already started, actually. <laughs> Black Widow's in the show. What's up? In the live chat. So that's the thing. So there you go. If you got a question, so you can watch, listen, learn, share. It's in the live chat. Put it in the live chat. Ask a question. See if you can come up with the Black Widow Stumper. Uh, Ron is here. What's up? ATI Six Pack Trucking Nashville headed to NC. Hello, everyone. I read that like a computer. Just one long. Um, yep, we got, man, we do. We have a love party happening. You know what I'm going to do is, I'm probably not going to spend, by the way, mic check one, two, three. Are we okay? We got audio, audio, video, video, check, check. I think we're good. Um, I'm probably not going to spend too much longer in the live chat. There's a, just a couple more minutes to, uh, you know, get that cowbell. <laughs> Shameless. Um, yeah, no, I appreciate it. We do I have a lot of industry news, so I'm really going to get to it. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. So the audio is good. Thank you so much. And I'll just say this. When I'm reading the live chat, I'll tell you, the live chat's incremental. Instrumental. It'll be instrumental. I'm going to go with instrumental for 200, Bob. Uh, the live chat is instrumental in shows like DOT Compliance and Dispatching Live, where we're really participating with what you've got going on. Did you see Cars on the Move on Friday on the Melting Block of Ice? Yow! Man, that was crazy information. Actually, I was so busy today. There's a couple... Look at all this chicken scratches. Uh, there's a couple things I didn't get to. I didn't share a screenshot of Friday Cars on the Move. You want to go check that out. That was an amazing show, really. Um, you know how we talk about, you know, talking to car dealers? What are you going to say? And I know, right? You, really, you're at the basics. I swear. I know it. I've, I've done it. I just went ahead and did it because Ty said do it. So I went in and I'm like, uh, you know, yeah, hi, my name is. And, um, hey, how, how's your inventory doing? Right? All of a sudden they're like, what? And then, but actually, you know what I said? So uh, how do you get your, what, do you post, do you post to load boards? That kind of thing? It was amazing. Hey, look at that. Super Dispatch. <laughs> Ringing the cowbell. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's neat to see you guys so active in the live chat, participating, asking questions, answering questions, sharing information. That's how you do it. That is. That's how it's done. So well done. Good job to you guys. Uh, Roberto Hernandez. Great show. Black Widow Imaging. On the move. What's up? Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, we are on the move. Everything is on the move. And, man, now the world's moving. It's June 1st. I actually went places without a mask on. Jay, why did you talk about that? Do me a favor. Stick around after this. Industry news. Transport Auto Quoter is by far the leading auto quoting software on the market and the only auto quoter with a pro version that comes preset with accurate pricing for anywhere in the U.S. So you don't have to worry about it. The best part is that no change with your current software is needed. Just plug TAQ in and start booking jobs. Carriers can easily plug TAQ into their current websites and start making money right away. I bet you're wondering how we do this instantly and accurately 24-7. Well, constant analytics is the key. Our price watch team is constantly monitoring current market conditions, paying close attention to seasonal and quick-moving industry changes. At the end of the day, it takes a lot of time and data to maintain good pricing, time that most of us just don't have on a daily basis. So free yourself up. Using TAQ Pro is really a no-brainer. Save time and money, maximizing your leads and optimizing your online investments. You'll finally be able to sleep well at night knowing that TAQ is on the job selling for you 24-7. Never missing a potential job. And if you think about it, right, with uh, rates, values, everything is up, right, you can't guess um, you can't just go with the same old rate, hitting the compare button and hoping everything's cool. No, you can't. You also can't afford to overpay because you're already probably uh, in the red with your customer with what you had quoted, right? So you need something reliable. Get, get the quote that'll get it moved without overpaying and without wasting a week on a rate that no one's going to take. That's Superflow Systems Transport Auto Quoter, and he's in the live chat. Mark Grodeke is ringing the cowbell and supporting ATI. Thank you so much, Mark. 
Thank you, Superflow Systems. Thank you, Transport Auto Quoter. And uh, in fact, we've got, you know what's coming up soon. We've got uh, Are You a Car Shipping Guru with Larry? So stick around. So here we go. Let's do some industry news. I do believe it's time. Let's bring that up. Do photos move cars? Yes, they do. This is episode 192 in a row on a Tuesday night. Thank you so much. Wow. Black Widow Imaging is here? They're here? Live? On Auto Transport Intel? You darn tootin'. So, you know, we've had Black Widow on uh, make appearances on Cars on the Move, also on Tuesday Nights Live and panels. Um, this was an amazing show where we actually, this was Ty orchestrated, um, a live demo. Black Widow gave a live demo to Jennifer at America's Auto Auction live on a Friday on Auto Transport Intel. Amazing. Amazing. So we've gotten to know Black Widow really well, and thank you so much, Black Widow. I gotta tell you, I'm ringing... I'm ringing the cowbell. Thank you, Black Widow, our new Diamond sponsor. Thank you so much. Um, and we're gonna be talking about what that means. In fact, Black Widow is gonna be in Las Vegas here in two weeks. Um... Wow, that's at Car Conference. That's going to be... Where are we going to be at? We're going to be at Caesars Palace. Featured. And Black Widow is in booth 202 at Caesars Palace at Las Vegas, June 16th through 17th. And I know, man, this... Wow, people have been... If, if this was good timing for a show, incredible. If you're not signed up for this, go get signed up. Uh, you know, we talk about the entire automotive industry. OEMs, auctions, dealers, shippers, services, brokers, carriers, equipment, regulations, and loads. Black Widow Imaging is a service for basically all of the folks in automotive. Because it's all about great images. And we're going to be talking about that more. But you know, as I like to say, I mix the back of the store and the front of the store. I'm doing it again tonight. Back of the store, transport parking lot, front of the store, will they sell the car? This is the year of the hybrid. Man, oh man, is it. Digital meets physical. And when it's a packed house at the auction, you'll find Ty in the clubhouse at Tr Ty Transport Guy, Ty Thompson. Find him. Talk to him. Because in the clubhouse, man, they are talking about tight supply with prices well over sticker. They're talking about inspections and transport and payments and dealer solutions. They're talking about digital transformations, by the way. That's Rob Ruth. He'll be on the show tonight. Uh, now, are they talking about Teslas made in Texas? Uh, and this is interesting. Due to Texas law, they may have to ship them out of Texas before they can ship them back in. I suppose that's good if you're in shipping. Oh, wait, this is a shipping show. Okay, great. This one's for you, Ty. Auto auction converts a facility to a mechanic shop. Really? Mannheim Central Florida converted a building once used uh, for night sales into an 8,500 square foot mechanic facility. And I was just reading, like, some shopping malls that need tenants. They're bringing in dealerships. Wow. Everything is just changing, changing, changing. Oh, no. Self-driving truck got a shipment across country 10 hours faster than a human? Jay. I'm just saying. Um, oh, here's another. <laughs> cheap auto trans... Wait, cheap... Wait, that's your headline? Cheap auto transport firm updates website to describe unique services. Oh, but they're honest and family-owned. Twice. And they advertise cheap auto transport. It's right there in the article. Twice. Cheap. Alright, we got it. Change the batteries. Hey, um, I'm sharing this because this is... There's... You know... Why, right? Why? I read the article and a 20-something uh, a SUV driver careened into in the left lane... Um, and then he was killed and the other driver was killed that was trying to get help. So I'm not trying to, I don't know. I mean, I, 
I don't I don't share a lot of a lot of stuff that Okay, I'm moving on. I just I'm so sorry and I'm so thankful Candy. Thank you for sending that to me. Cuz I don't know, it hit me at the right moment or the wrong moment and I really wanted to share it. So, uh you can get help, right? Get business help. Go nvta.org. It's a Holly powered uh, association alliance to help you and your business grow. And don't forget, we mentioned Car Conference, June 16th through June 17th at Caesars Palace, the Conference of Automotive Remarketing. Are you ready to get back outside? Right? Smell the flowers and see the people and visit trade show booths again. I'm ready. And I'm going to be at car conference. I'm excited about it. I'm also going to be attending virtually finished vehicle logistics. Looking forward to the next live event. But this one's virtual. June 22nd through June 23rd. Uh, online. Finished vehicle logistics North America Live. And thank you so much for uh, making us another media partner for one of your shows. ATI 30. You can get 30% off. Go to automotivelogistics.media get signed up this is how you get your car shipping news i know it's there's a lot right there's there's a lot to this deep dish pizza okay put it up on the big screen why not try it out and it's time now are you ready first what you want to do before you do anything else go to dispatchcenter.com forward slash ask larry hey what's up ken Buddy, wow. It's great to see you in here, man. Um, go to dispatchcenter.com forward slash ask Larry and you can play this game. Play it before I get to the questions. And we do the answers on Thursdays. Here we go. What was the first model year of the Ford Bronco? You know the Bronco's back. Guess who's back? I don't think they used that uh, That is their theme song. Guess who's back? Broncos back. Okay. All right, here we go. Next one. What is the most appropriate carrier pay to ship a 2019 Nissan Altima from Nashville to Wichita? Most appropriate carrier pay. See, with the Transport Auto Quota Quotify engine, you can get the amount that'll get it moved without overpaying do you really need to pay thirteen hundred to get that Altima moved? But can you get it as cheap as five hundred? Those are the questions. Go to dispatchcenter.com forward slash ask Larry. It's right there in the live chat links. Here we go. Question three. What is the most appropriate carrier pay to ship a twenty nineteen Chevy Trax from Billings, Montana to Lexington, Kentucky? Now, this one might cost a little bit more. Maybe. I'm thinking. Billings, Montana? It's not, uh, it's not the high, most highly populated pickup area. Get to the chopper. Um, hey, look at this. Wow. 5-4 Transport. Wow. Wow. We are a new company. We've watched every show for the last three months. We've learned a lot. Thank you for all that you do. Wow, that is incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, as the guy that made the videos, I, some people tell me that, and I tell you, it really does blow me away. So thank you. Man, that's amazing. And so you watch the videos, and it's helping. Yeah, keep us posted. And you know, oh, Rocky's here too. What's up, Rocky? I'm giving Rocky a cow because I'm just, I'm just plain old excited. Um, wow, that is amazing. Um, and you know what's really cool is 5-4 is that you also might find uh, benefit from, if you go sign up as an ATI Insider, um, which you can do by going to autotransportintel.com, click on sign up, and if you sign up as an ATI Insider, um, talk to Ty and we can maybe get you on the next roundtable. I think we're going to have a roundtable later this month. And the purpose of the roundtable is you've got auto transport business owners, all in one meeting, sharing information, um, and we also have 
it's it's mostly carriers, but there will be some brokers, and we try to get some dealers, and it's amazing. And then you suddenly you found a sub hauler in 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 a, in a place you didn't even know the you could get one so that's what we do so please do join us all right here we go wow amazing stuff uh question number four what is the distance between white dashed lines on u.s roads Ooh. hey that is a good one i have no idea what is the distance between white dashed lines the distance between white dashed lines wow Man, now there's your stumper. I knew we'd get one. Okay, question number five. Which of the following will impact the quality of a vehicle inspection? Is it delivery? Is it the paint? Is it the dust? Or is it all of the above? Those are your five questions. So what you want to do is go to dispatchcenter.com forward slash ask Larry and submit your answers you've got two days before we read the answers and you could win and don't forget go to autotransportintel.com click on sign up become an ati insider there it is right there there's your button <laughs> okay well it is time it's time it's half time all right and uh and so uh we've got this and then we're going to come back and then we're going to do a little bit of that Hey, it's Ty, transport guy, hanging out in the transport parking lot always. If you want to learn to grow your business, I think you should probably go to ATI Insider, sign up for free, don't give anybody any money. Uh, and with that, you get, uh, I don't know, I think you get a 20 minute phone call, which usually turns into a little longer than that. You get to join the round table, uh, which is once a month. And at the round table, what we do is we get pretty detailed about how to build your business, how to connect with dealers, how to connect with auctions, how to build a lane. So if you're new, if you saw a YouTube video and says, I can make a million dollars in a week and I want to get into car hauling, Ty, and maybe you own a Stinger, maybe you own a little rollback. Man, how do I figure this out? Should I buy this? Should I buy that? What do I need? How do I do it? You get to make relationships with other carriers. It's kind of not a one size fits all. It's here a little bit about you. Go to the ATI Insider, get signed up. I can help you, I really can. Are you completely stressed out from all the calls and the contracts and the verification of loads when nobody answers the phone? Call Murphy Auto Dispatch Services today. Murphy Auto Dispatch Services has over 15 years of experience in the transport industry. We are your office while you are on the road. We book, we verify, and we bill out your loads for you. We have an excellent accounting staff and an even better dispatch team. Give us a call today at 417-273-0021. Or if you want to email me, it's murphyautotransport31 at yahoo.com. Give us a call today. Okay, so first you saw Ty. And he's in the live chat, so if you want to get a hold of Ty, you can do that. Also, there's uh, Sue's email, website, phone number. She runs a dispatch office if you're looking for a dispatcher. She's also a fully licensed broker, and she really she wants to help. She works with a lot of drivers. She has a team of dispatchers. She wants to help you get your car moved, help you stay in business, be profitable. And also, she is my co-host on Thursdays with dispatching advice on dispatching live so please do join us on thursdays thanks for everything you do sue really do appreciate it it is now time for the second half of industry news here we go now uh photos okay so we're going to talk a lot about photos man i got this thing stacked with photo stuff all right so you got the side of the car front of the car i mean where you know you got the back seat steering wheel okay that's good great i mean any photos are better than no photos. And what do people use photos for, right? The dealer needs the photo to sell the car on the website. If the person goes to the website and there's no photos, it is not going to be good. You need some information. You need some photos. How do you display it? I mean, in what way? And you also, you need them for auctions, right? ACV's got the photos. Dealers have the photos. Vroom's got the photos. Man, everybody's got photos, right? And how many photos do you need? 
Um, that might be a lot of photos. Maybe. I'm just saying. You know, so you got to get the right number of photos. And now here we go. Now here's some Black Widow imaging photos. You see, see how uh, it's so crisp and the and the background's removed. I'm so I'm really focused now. We're going to be talking about how fast that happened. Now and also, who's going to shoot the photos? Do you do you get? Is it a photo shoot? Like, how long does that take to set up? Or I mean, is this a movie shoot? How long does that take to set up? My goodness. But I mean, you know, car commercials, right? Now, when we go back in time, right? Let's take a town a take a <laughs> let's take a town a trip down memory lane. Grand opening. Okay, now here look, by the way, there's actually actually there are a couple photos. Even back in the 70s, somebody's like, "You know what? I wish should show a photo of that gremlin. Look at that beauty." <laughs> Ooh, an Oldsmobile. There's a photo. Even then, somebody's like, "Yeah." Throw a photo in there. But there, are, there is a time and a place where there just ain't no photo. And really, this thing right now, somebody would just go get it. Yeah? Really? I'll take it. I don't even have a photo and I'll go get it. But we know, right, for the sales, for the marketing and the advertising, you definitely want good photos, right? Look at those shadows and the colors and it pops um iaa's got the photos and now some of these photos you're right you need them to tell a story what's the story on this car right i need to know what's the story ove's got the photos and everybody's got the photos copart telling their stories right gotta have the photos even the dispatcher wants the copart photos are we gonna be dragging a hunk of metal onto the flatbed or what uh, more photos. And, and then on this photo, now how much additional information are we going to get with the photo? So let's talk about information for a little bit. So like, you know, you got the brochure and you can number the panels. Okay. That's pretty, I like that's, that's pretty simplified. That's going to be, yeah, that might be good training for the mobile app user. Um, this is a lot of information. Now I know this is a 172 point vehicle inspection, but, um, uh, uh, yeah, that's a lot of info. Or you do the AIAG new vehicle pickup at the rail yard and you're using damage codes. They're not so... I don't think they're as worried about the photos, but are they? It must be. Somebody must be. And Okay, let's go back in to the mobile app, right? The mobile app times. By the way, this is funny. Um, what What is funny is that in about 10 minutes when I bring in Ty, I'm going to roll this video. you got to see this video. But let's keep going. Um, right, so you're doing the paper bill of lading, no photos. Ten years ago, I don't think any driver was really taking photos, maybe unless he's you know, mailing some Polaroids. You tap to mark the damages. Oh, even there, there you go. Click put, If you click in the upper corner, you can add your photos. And then, you know, even the small photos are still good photos. Although, maybe, you know... You want some consistency, right? Yeah, if you can. Better than nothing, right? Take your phone, turn it sideways, take the photo, walk around, crawl underneath, get up on top, jump up, just jump on the hood. No. Just take the photo, get your photos. See, now here's the Black Widow, though. Okay, that's different, right? But we're going to explain why. Right, because once you once you mount that thing, check that out. You can do you can do this on your photo. Look at that. Here's this is what it was shot, and this is what it did with the photo. You didn't even have to. You know, nobody's photoshopping. <laughs> so, what else is available on the market? All right. So, well, there's like okay. So, autos on video is out there. Uh, De Gold automated vehicle imaging is out there. Fusion is out there, which I think is that did did Cox acquire Fusion maybe? And Go View It is out there, and Raven, which I think do we say got acquired by Car Global and Adessa? 
I think that's right. We're going to be talking about these things. So, so I do want you to stick around. There's a lot of information coming up. I went through industry news a little bit quick because there is so much. Um, Auto Transport Intel is live four times a week. Do not miss the other days. Tuesday Night's Live is just the beginning of the story. DOT Compliance Dispatching Live. Cars on the move. How did this get in there? Oh, here's another one. There's more. True images. Okay. Okay. What can I do? It's too late now. True images is out there. The Maj is out there. Wow, there's so many. So, okay. Tonight, we want to rescue you from... Do you need, you know, somebody to set up a bunch of cameras and movie studio dollies or is it is shooting on your phone the best way to get the photos that you need do photos move cars you darn right they do and we're going to talk about that tonight so please do also make sure you join us tomorrow on dot compliance noon every wednesday it's only a 30 minute show dot questions fmcsa live chat with brian Riker, your dot guy David bets you can't stump Brian. I, I I think David's right. And we also have our, our new segment, How We Doing, where we talk about proper load distribution. Uh, because it doesn't matter if you have the photos right there. You make a sharp right turn, and the photos won't save you. Dispatching live load board search advice every Thursday at noon for 90 minutes. We have the mug o problems. Man, there are a lot of problems. Because it's auto transport. Put on a mask, jump in the ring, anything goes. You, oh, you think that's funny? Do you? Huh? I see what you're doing. Cars on the Move is every Friday. Dealers, auctions, and carriers. We connect them at noon for 30 minutes. Because you are here and your car is here. And we have got a game plan. We want to help you. Did you see EV Transport plug-in last Tuesday night? This show was amazing. That that was an amazing show. I was I was just trying to host a panel to to begin the discussion of transportation, EV vehicles, and some challenges. Wow, man, K two punch. It's a K two punch. <laughs> this is a K two K two punch. He meant KO, but I don't know. We got K two. It's the Car Shipping Business Channel, where we freestyle every Tuesday night. It's the combination of a trade show level business presentation and a late night enjoyable show. It's infotainment, and we're glad you're here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. So here's what I want to do. I am going to bring in, what we're going to do is this, and thank you guys so much for saying hello in the live chat, seeing a lot of conversation. Rocky, it's great to have you back, man. That's so cool. Um, I'm going to bring in Ty. And then we're going to bring in Jason Hawk, CEO of Black Widow. And we're going to begin. We're going to begin the Black Widow party, and this is a lead into again in two weeks car conference. Black Widow is a premier sponsor at car conference. Black Widow is a premier sponsor tonight. Are you seeing a pattern? Stick around. We're going to be right back with Ty, Jason, and the Black Widow party. Is your current vehicle imaging process? producing inconsistent images, frustrating, time-consuming, at the mercy of another vendor's schedule? Well, it doesn't have to be. Black Widow Imaging provides a simple system to capture high-quality images of your vehicles in seconds. Simply align the driver's side tire with the floor stripe. Stop on the floor plate to scan your vehicle code and capture the exterior images. It's that easy. It's also equipped with an interactive 360 degree interior camera option so your customers don't miss any details. The results are fast, consistent 4K images that are delivered to your website in minutes. Let us show you how easy your imaging process can be anywhere in the global supply chain. Visit blackwidowimaging.com to schedule a live demo. So do that. Go to blackwidowimaging.com. Schedule your live demo. I recognize that guy's voice. Uh, please do jump in the live chat. You see the phone number, the email address. Again, it's blackwidowimaging.com. Just go there. 
you know, you can put the show on mute, go to, no, don't do that. Leave the audio alone where it is. Go to blackwidowimaging.com. And here we go. I'm going to bring in Ty. I think it's time. And if you are in the waiting room of the Zoom meeting, hang out there, watch the show, jump in the live chat, have a, have a, have a cola and hang out because we're going to bring you into the party. But before we do that, I'm going to bring in Ty. So here we go. Ty, can you see me and hear me okay? I can. Can you see and hear me? I see you. I hear you. And we may hear the doorbell uh, here and there, but that's just folks jumping into the waiting room because we have a, we have a, we have a VIP lounge. Dude, we do. And I'm really excited about tonight. So I like your uh, info highway. I was thinking about this show quite a bit, actually thinking about the whole Black Widow, the photos. And I was thinking about, remember... You know, you showed that one classified ad, but I remember when I was, you know, 15, 16 years old, you would go to the Joplin Globe, the newspaper, and go to the classifieds in the car section, and you would just see the description of the car, you know, 79 Trans Am, <laughs> black, <laughs> call, <laughs> best offer. So I was thinking about how, how photos really do move cars, and then I started thinking about my experience with photos in the car hauling world, <clears throat> The first time I ever heard about uh, like a live stream auction, online auction, and I, I thought, what what is that and how does that work? So to see the progression of how photos really move cars, and, and again, I always come at everything you and I talk about from a dealer perspective, and I'm not a dealer, right? I'm a car hauler. And what do I always say? Talk to the dealer, talk to the dealer, talk to the auction. So one of the reasons I'm really excited about tonight's show is because you're going to see dealer, dealer, dealer auction. Am I right? We've got Jason. I think you're right. Dealer. Yeah. Photo Black Widow. We've got Joe, dealer. Steve is the uh, auction guy. I think is it auction. Steve? Steve Gurch. Uh-huh. And uh, the other Black Widow guy. He's a car guy. Uh Win Trong is an international director. And also Roberto, our friend Roberto in the live chat. He's also with Black Widow, yeah. Roberto. And then we've got Rob, Ruth, who's a car guy. So as you're watching this unfold as a viewer, as you're just watching, that's how I, I like to watch this from all angles. So when you're watching this, I want you to keep in the back of your mind, this is what Ty always talks about. Talk to the car dealer, right? So you're going to hear a lot about photos. Well, why do they need photos? Who needs Black Widow? Why do we, why do, what, how does this work? And what does it have to do with the transport guy, right? And you should start seeing, I don't want to get ahead of Jason and Joel and everybody else, but I do want to say, as this unfolds, as we start this dialogue back and forth, I want you to really pay attention to what the car dealer guy is saying. Okay, he's giving us clues all the time. Everything that these guys talk about is a clue for us to improve our level of service for the car dealer. Why? Because I love the car dealer. The car dealer, if I do a good job for him, he's going to keep paying me and he's going to keep calling me. So the more I understand about him and what he's trying to accomplish, the better off I am. So I'm personally pretty stoked, like party, like, you know, diamond hands, rocket. To oh, the I know. To, to, to <laughs> ATI to the moon. I love that. And I want to say this because I love how you're giving perspective and here's some more perspective because we know there are some folks that when we keep talking dealers are like, man, you know, I don't really, I don't think about the deal every day. There are folks that are, that are doing that. And, well, auction, OEM, dealer. The thing about Black Widow is it's not just for one vertical. And we know there are a lot of questions. Before we go to that, then, so we're going to bring in Jason here in a second. But I got a, I got a special little, uh, special share. I want to share this. This is fun. You're gonna, you're gonna like. I, I hope you like this. Okay. I found this on YouTube. It's from 2008. Now uh, she has to get the dog, and then uh, she's filling out a paper bill of lading. She's going to inspect a vehicle. Again, this is 2008. I, 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 she does, if she had a cell phone, you know it would be in in the hand with the dog and the and the uh, and the paper. What do you call that? Clipboard. Anyways, she's doing the inspection. Now uh, it continues to go on and and and, and this, but this is this it was 2008. It wasn't that long ago. 
And that's how fast things are changing. Not, not once in here does she get a cell phone out. You know why? She doesn't have a, a way to use a cell phone with the vehicle. Okay, so this is pretty high tech for 2008. And there's the dog again. So I, I share that because it is very interesting how fast things change. So for anybody right now in June 2021 that's thinking, I, I still don't understand Black Widow, stick around because we're going to blow your mind. Okay? So with that, um, let's see, we're seeing the live chat. That's good because I am going to, uh, let's get, uh, let's get, oh, Jason is our next guest on, oh, there we go. There he is. Jason is our next guest on Auto Transport Intel Tuesday Nights Live, and he's entering the room now. Oh, hey, Jason. I'm in the room. <laughs> Man, how are you, buddy? Good. How are you guys? Ooh, been a long one for me. Me too. But I'm happy. I'm happy you're here too. Oh yeah. So this is here. Jason, you guys. This is the man. This is the guy that has the plan. And I like always asking him the simple. So tell us a little bit about detailing. You detailed cars? Yep. <laughs> yep. That's where it all started. It started in my parents' garage. That's where it all started. So. <clears throat> Well, that gives you a really good perspective, right? It's a good way to start in the auto business. I was, it's kind of about almost as low as it goes, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they, uh, they treat you pretty rough and beat you up pretty good, but you learn all the, the ins and outs and their pain points. And as time goes on, you, you tend to you know, be their, uh, their aspirin, right? So when you start taking away their headaches and, and figuring out the, the ins and outs of their world and the way they see it, well, then relationships are built and then they tell their friends and next thing you know you got plenty of dealers realizing that uh you know starting you know cleaning something that is for sale you know they got so many moving parts in the organization if you take a few off things off their plate they tend to trust you and then that's how you grow your business in the automotive world which then leads to you know driving trucks and buying trucks and going to the auction and becoming a dealer yourself it's just, it's addicting right so that's uh that's how i got started and uh you know we made a lot of mistakes can't be afraid to make mistakes you know you can't be afraid to fail and uh you know that's how everything kind of evolves you gotta just keep pushing forward right okay so there's there's a lot of important pieces about detailing a car for a car dealer because they're kind of particular right just a little bit <laughs> well let, let's think about this i mean they'd ask me this all the time say who, who writes your check right and it wasn't the dealer it's the consumer Okay, so the consumer is picky, right? So that's what makes the dealer picky. So, uh, yes, the consumer wants their car perfectly clean. It's not just the dealer. It's coming from the consumer. Yeah. They and know. then from there, you said you, you ended up in the actual transport business. Is that right? Yeah. Well, we were cleaning so many cars, you know, the 24 hours a day, five days a week. And uh, so we had, to, we had to move them faster. So uh, we decided to get in the trucking business. So uh, logistically... Um, even though they were clean, they started telling me, the dealer started saying, look, I bought these cars in the auction and I hear them yelling at somebody can't get them fit quick enough. And I'm sitting there going, well, I could probably get them for you quicker. Right. So we bought trucks, right. You know, went to Peter Peterbilt dealership and I'm grinding gears and the guy's like, you know how to drive this thing? I'm like, oh yeah, no problem. You know, <laughs> just grinding it out of the, out of the dealership, you know, but we figured it out. Right. We figured out how to drive those suckers and build trailers and the whole nine. So yeah. Uh, I, I solved that pain point for the dealer on the trucking side. So I bought my own well, Okay, so that, that's yeah. interesting because there's you, you shifted there, but I caught it, right? So you're that's detailing good. cars, yeah. which I'm going to go with. They Some of those cars might actually be what we call wholesale cars because yeah. now the dealer wants you to take the car you cleaned to the auction. Is that what you're kind of saying? Yep. And they then they, I didn't want to come home with uh, an empty sale, right? So... I said, well, why don't I pick up the cars you bought today and take them right to the shop, detail them, photo them, and they'll be up on your on your site. Wow. So we got to go both ways, take it to them and bring it back. Yeah, and the thing, the really cool part that I, I personally experienced, I think this is kind of what you're saying, is is when you you meet that dealer's need, like you said, real, and you said it perfect, it's when you start taking stuff off that dealer's plate, they start putting more on yours. Yeah. And you, you saw that. And, and the relationship is built from that. Yep. Yeah. And that's, that's why I tell guys, go talk to the car dealer. 
find out what his problem is and see if you can fix that problem and or if you can just help that problem so okay you started in detailing <clears throat> then you started cleaning these wholesale cars so which wholesale cars primarily were the trade-ins is that what you were getting yep correct so they would send you here's the trade-ins go ahead and clean them and then they would want them to come back to their lot for the t- transport guy to pick them up he was always late he couldn't get them to the auction on time yeah. so. trucks only go so fast they're yelling at me because the photo guy shows up on Wednesday at three o'clock after he's done, you know, uh, picking farm fresh eggs or something, you know? So I always got to, I was at the mercy of the photo guy showing up on Wednesday at three. Right. So then I was like, well, wait a minute. Like, what do we have to wait for him for? Like, who's he? Like, is he the owner of the dealership? What's his name? Oh, his name's Billy. Well, well that, that ain't the name on the dealership. So why are we waiting for him? So then I had to get into something else. It wasn't enough. <laughs> the time wasn't enough. The trucking wasn't enough. I had to get into the photos, you know, and then it was like, well, I don't want to photo it with, with hail damage or dents or scratches. And it's like, well, shit, then let's get the body shop fired up. So I did that for a decade. So. Wow. And now I think also you, you actually are a dealer. Yes, I am a dealer as well. Yep. And so what does that look like? What does that sound like? How many? Uh, you know, for, for, for us, I think it was, you know, we mainly deal with exotics and highline cars and stuff like that. So we weren't necessarily deep into it. But for us, we knew there was value in anybody that wanted uh, a beautiful car with low miles. You know, so that was where we really started dabbling with the pictures. But we knew that it wasn't scalable taking pictures of Ferraris and all the exotics. Right. So then we started to figure out how do I how do I get a perfect image with any user? Right. Um, you know, we've built studios. We've, we've done, you know, $30,000 epoxy floors and we invented turntables and we got patents and trademarks and all the stuff that we did, but all those models are, are not scalable. They're very tough. So uh, we made a lot, of, a lot of mistakes. We, we like to judge ourselves based on our failures and move forward, but uh, uh, the success is what comes from all the failures. Okay, so now we're, <clears throat> now we're up to the Black Widow. So we start out as a detailer, we end up getting semis, car haulers, taking them to the auction. Then, then I think there was probably some relationships built at dropping cars off at the auction, picking cars up at the auction, yep. right? Yep. What did that look like? Yeah, so then you were seeing the same dealers there. You know, of course we had, you know, fancy trucks. We like to build nice stuff. They like to see their stuff coming in, you know, on nice vehicles. So yeah, a lot of relationships were built there. Uh, then I learned a lot about the market and what cars could bring. And I just, I'm a fixer. You know what I mean? And I saw the holes, you know? So I pride myself in wearing the boots, you know? I mean, ultimately I deal with lots of suits, but at the end of the day, you have to, you have to learn stuff firsthand. And by having the boots on in all those areas, I could solve problems, you know? And uh, just like a Lego, you know, you can tear it apart and rebuild it again. So that's what we did until we got it right. So there's a lot to say about experience. You know, we wore on a lot of shoes figuring this out for sure. Yeah. So and it, it's interesting because I, I used to get that same phone call from the dealer, from the auction. Yeah. I, I need you to pick the cars up on Monday. They got to be there Monday by noon. If they're not there by noon, the whole world blows apart because the sale's on Wednesday. And we got to get the pictures so that we can have them for the online sale, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, it's, you know, a part of my life that, you know, one of the biggest failures is that we ran the trucks so much that we got in an accident. A bad one and unfortunately people died so that's where i drew the line in the sand and i'll, I'll encourage all truckers as well you got to be safe we were being safe but uh when trucks crash uh, it's bad stuff so you can never be pushed out of your comfort zone and i think that's where we drew the line in the sand and said you know what there's a faster way to do this there's a there's a better way to to ease this pain and um you, you you hit a stumbling block when you start at five in the morning and at midnight you're parking your truck and you realize that, you know, you can't even, you got to rest eight hours before you're rolling again. Right. So um, I'm sure DOT is probably 12 now, but we had to draw a line in the sand and say, you know what, we've given it our all. How do we, how do we get this picture, right? This car to everybody faster. Right. And it's through a picture, but how do you get the picture done with something that you're relying on a third party person or, somebody getting off at five o'clock, you know, the world's going all the time. Right. So, uh, we went from that and we said, you know what, if we could, 
if we could get the pictures to everybody fast, well, that would ease everybody's pain and it'd make everything go faster. So um, overnight success with two decades of a lot of pain. <laughs> exactly. All right. So how are we on time, Jay? Now we're doing good. And what we're going to do is um, all we got to do is press the go button and we'll bring in Joel and win. <clears throat> okay. Well, before we bring anybody in, I want to, I wanted Jason to, to set this up because Jason has the program here. So <clears throat> we're talking about the photos. We're talking about why do dealers want photos and what, so this line in the sand was this constant push to hurry up, right? Is that yep. what I think I'm hearing? Yes. And it, it comes faster, to this faster, yeah. faster, faster, faster. Everybody wants it faster. So <clears throat> one of the, the things that has really caught my attention as a, as a car hauler guy, about this concept is the dealer and i think you guys have a video of it too but the this the, the i call it the buyer so the buyer's at the auction he buys 30 cars he calls the gm or the used car manager hey i got 30 the gms where are they i'm ready for them i need them i get, let's right. go right. i got the service ready i got everything ready let's go so you take over from here what what happens how does this right. so happen? the next the next call comes to the detailer right hey i got a load of cars you got your guys ready you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? You got your, and then, then the next call goes to the photo lady. Hey, I realize it's a holiday weekend and I realize that you're, you know, got farm fresh eggs and you got to, you know, pick up your cousin's brother or whatever, but I'm going to make sure all the cars are lined up and done by four o'clock so you can get them all pictured for the weekend. So that was the, the next thing. So, and then after that, I mean, that was, that was it for, for their complaining on where's my car, right? Dude, where's my car? Right? <laughs> <laughs> There's one more story I want you to tell that I, I love hearing it. I've heard it maybe once or twice, but it's something with your, was it your grandpa and the valve stems? Yeah, my, my, my uh, great, great grandfather owned gas stations. Yeah. And uh, so you, which part of the story? It's kind of a longer story. I don't think we have time for that, but yeah, well, I like maybe part two. How things are changing. He's, he's, he's worried about was, getting the. Yeah. So, so my, my great, great grandfather was, was changing a valve stem on a car and um, he was busy trying to make 10 cents. And uh, what happened is a, a gentleman came up in a suit and was trying to offer him Ford stock, but he was too busy making 10 cents on the, uh, on the valve stem. So I guess, I think, you know, the, the part of that story is that you gotta be aware of your surroundings, right? But I think what's more interesting about it is that he owned gas stations and that's where the Model T started was at gas stations. Um, and then that turned into a service center and that service center then turned into a showroom and a dealership and added a body shop. So I think we have to kind of see where we are, know where we are, know what our mistakes are, you know, look at them head on and figure out a different way and look back at history too, because it repeats itself. Wow. That's great. Okay. So now you've got some friends <clears throat> that are going to be joining. Yeah. <laughs> you've got, <laughs> yeah, a couple, <laughs> but anyway, so I want to kind of set this up. I want you to set it up because there, there's connections here, right? Yep. The way things work. So as everybody comes piling in, we've got uh, Joel, Joel, Joel's and, brother. Go ahead, Joel. Right, exactly. I just want to make sure. Yeah, so Joel and Wynn are next. And then still in the VIP lounge are Steve and Rob and Chris. But before we bring in the dealer gang, yeah, we've got um, two more Black Widow friends. Two more Black Widow friends. Yep. So we've so. got we've got my brother, and then we got my stepbrother, Newsroom Tron. So hey, What's when? Going on, guys. Oh, Everybody. hey, when? Hey, Joe. Hey, hey. When? <laughs> where are you? I'm in my office. Wow. Should be on the golf course, but I'm in my office. All right. Just checking. Looks like you're at the golf course, so. Okay, so Joel, Joel, where are you, what do you do? I'm a uh, general manager of a, a Pope Chevrolet in Winsville, Missouri. So I'm a car dealer. Been car doing dealer. this for 28 years. Wow, the general manager. So you're running the whole thing. So yes. one, of, one of the things I always like to do to break the ice is, what's your electric bill there every month? <laughs> like 7,000. <000. laughs> <laughs> right. And we cry about our fuel and we cry about our insurance. What's yeah. your insurance every month? <laughs> yeah, I don't know that number off the top of my head, but it's big. Six or seven thousand electric is is enough to make me sick. Yeah. 
that makes me sick too. So there's a reason dealers want their cars, guys. The electric bill. Um, yeah. The more we, the faster we get them, the more they sell, and it, it helps pay that electric bill. But so you're a Pogue Chevrolet. You're in Win Winsfield, Missouri. That's yes, up by St. Louis. Yes. New car store. So you do Chevy. And then pre-owned. And pre-owned. Pre so pre-owns are used cars. And I've asked right. you this before, but I, I like this question. How many used cars do you have on the lot? Uh, 95 today. 95. And that's average, high, low? That's low. Low. I'm about 40 low. 40 low. And you'd like to have 40 more, right? Yes, I would. But we, what's the problem? <laughs> Expensive. Expensive <laughs> and uh, availability. Yeah. I was watching this one guy, Jason. I, I, Lot, Lot Pop, that guy? Yeah, Jason, Jason Rice. Jason Rice. He put out a video today and, you know, he talks about his buckets, but he was talking about watch out two or three years, keep an eye on stuff. So you here's what my point is, is I don't know how to cardio, but I can tell you're in a really interesting predicament. Is that fair? That's very fair. So, so what is that predicament for you? Getting the right vehicles at the right time and getting them on online to sell. I mean, that's, that's what, that's a, we better be focusing on that because that's what you need to be doing. That's your only focus. How about on your new car side? Have you seen the, the dip in there yet? Yes, it's actually the, they're uh, starting to trickle in a little bit. Um, we went probably a week or two with nothing. And then you got your employees are looking at looking at you like, what's going on? So, but it, it's, it's we see a little bit of a turn. We've got inventory coming in, which that, that gets the phone ringing. That shuts up the salesperson. It gets the salesperson dealing with the, with the customer. So, okay, so the next question for you is: is I think, and I know, I know, I know you do, but you have Black Widow at your dealership. Yes, in a, in my service drive. In your service drive. So, explain why why does a dealer need a Black Widow at the dealership and the service drive? Um. We want to we want to be able to run our own cars. We don't want to rely on uh, someone else coming in. He gets out of school and he comes in about two or three o'clock. By that time, uh, uh, I should have the pictures online. So, with the Black Widow, with it being in my service drive, anybody in the dealership can run that car and have 4K images in seconds. And I don't have to train them, other than hit a couple buttons, park the car straight. That's it. That's all they have to do. It's that easy. Okay. So <clears throat> those cars that you're taking pictures of in the dealership are to put on your dealership website. Yes. Okay. So you guys spend a lot of time and a lot of money, a lot of money, right? I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think you spend a lot of money on this website. Yeah. It's called advertising. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> you want to ask me that bill? Yeah. How? Yeah. <laughs> Leave that one alone. I just like the electric bill. That makes me yeah. feel good. Advertising is more, but anyways. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sure it is a lot more. And so so there's been a big push in the last year. I mean, there's always been a push, but this last year has been a big push. So from your personal experience, how did you have to go and rebuild the whole dealer website to make it this and do You were already no, there. It was already there. The system was in our dealership. We just ran them quicker. So quicker so what you're seeing with the black widow at your dealership this is in the dealership side is it's my control i have the control there's nobody i'm relying on and it's fast and, and and as a dealer you look at it you don't want anybody standing in your way to the customer obviously the customers who we're trying to serve so if i can control that that's a that's a win so here's a weird question that i just thought mm -hmm. of everybody or I don't know if do you guys use car gurus or any of that yeah. stuff? Yeah. So party sites. Do you do, do you get a discount if you send car guru your pictures versus them? No. No, they're just a third party uh website, no different than your auto trader, car gurus is. But do you get to use your pictures? Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. So you send them yours, which that's uh a step above just like you said the high I think they stand out they stand out there's no clutter in the background they're consistent same angles same lighting it works okay all right so now why do we need one in the service line well um every dealership's different um with the black widow you're not taking up a stall 
So if I can run $138 an hour mechanic, I don't want to take a bay away. So what I use is my service drive. My service drive is busy, but there's always times throughout the day that customers aren't driving through there. When, they, when they're not there, I drive my cars to image them. So it's not costing me real estate. Real estate's expensive. So every stall that's empty or not being used is costing the dealer a lot of money. And right now, if, if you're not focusing on your fixed of your dealership, you're, you're, you're losing. So I'm glad that I, I don't have it in a bay. I have a mechanic in there right? instead. <clears throat> Okay, so the, the one that's in the service lane mm -hmm. is also used for the for the photos to put on your website and your car gurus wherever. Yes, yes. Okay, so at some point, when what do you do? I need to I'm international director, so I basically I'm sorry, prep up what? everything. <clears throat> I'm international, so I prep up everything internationally beyond our borders. So that's what oh, I. Wow. That's a big job. It's it's not bad. International. So you're setting Black Widow internationally. Is that what I hear? Yeah, we're looking to grow uh, Black Widow in Western Europe, hopefully in Asia at some point, Latin America, other places, setting up, you know, basically be able to build the Black Widow from anywhere mm. so we can scale quickly and fast. Wow. That'd be cool. And uh, that, sorry, I just jumped because we've been. Uh, in some communications with what we call Roro in the transport business, the Roro's the boats. So they bring their cars over on boats. Yeah. And we've got a big company that's <clears throat> talking about sending me to Panama to teach them how to load cars. And I've been thinking about this because uh, Jason was telling us he's wanting the Black Widow at the OEM. Is that right, Jason? I want to share something too while we're talking. Let me take that off the screen. Um, closer to home, Black Widow made a trip to Oklahoma City. I turned the audio off so we can talk while we look at this. But uh, what, what are we looking at here, Jason? And we got the, uh, he's got his mute on. He was trying to be helpful and then he uh, he got muted. There but you are. There Sorry we go. About that. It's yeah, good. so. We, uh, we got called out in the middle of a catastrophe uh, in Oklahoma. So there's a big uh, hailstorm that came through. So uh, we had uh, uh, gathered the team quickly, got out there, and they needed to be able to picture several thousand cars that were damaged. So um, we kind of went into the sector on the insurance side and the collision side of things. So, um, you know, when stuff like this happens, you know, we're ready to, you know, get out there to drop of a hat. They needed something that they could run thousands of cars. And so we went out there and facilitated that very quickly and uh, got them trained up uh, for the lizard and uh, the guy in khakis and then uh, anybody else that needed help in the insurance world. And I, I, show, I queued that up and showed it because that's the thing is that when you say go international, you're ready to do that. You've got a plan. If you oh, yeah. need to get this somewhere, okay, well, we got that. It's a, it's a global problem, Jay. You know what I mean? It's everything I've found of all the, the miles I've logged and the driving I've done and windshield time, it doesn't matter where it is in the world. The, the, the same, you could be blindfolded and go anywhere and everybody's got the same go faster, right? I need the pictures. I need the images. Where's the car, right? And, you know, when and I have traveled, you know, in many different countries, and even though there was a language barrier, our photos are bilingual to anyone in the world with eyeballs, right? So it was very interesting. Even though there was a language barrier, our finished product speaks for itself, right? So we got data, we got words, right? But a picture's worth a thousand words. So it was very interesting that why would I just help one country, right? Why would I just help? That's a thousand dealers, right? That's powerful. Everybody, everybody needs this, right? So I'm a fixer, right? So um, everybody's got the same issues. So, I mean, whether it be uh, Henry Ford's assembly line, right? He didn't invent the car. I mean, he's a smart guy, right? But Carl Benz invented the car 50 years prior. But what Henry Ford did 
was he was a fixer and he found a way to do it better. And now everybody in the globe copied that. Okay. So you see where I'm going with this. It's, it's not just a, it's not just a, Hey, I gotta, you know, go make money. This is a problem I got to fix globally. So if I've been called to do this and this is why I'm here, then well, I got to fix it for everybody. You got some competition in that arena. I showed some of that in industry news. Oh yeah, there's, 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 there's Pepsi, there's Coke, there's, there's different <laughs> sodas, right? But we like to think we're we're the first, right? <clears throat> Innovation strikes up uh, competition. Competition's good. Keeps everybody on their toes. Well, Not us, but you guys are in auctions, right? Yep, auctions. Let's dealers. Talk about that for a minute. What, what, why is that? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Do we need wait. to bring somebody else in? Well, I'll tell you what, we can. I'll tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start letting in the rest of the party and then keep going. Keep going with your train of thought, and here they come. Okay. okay? Yeah. I think if I remember right, which I know you are, Jason, but you're in some auctions. A mm -hmm. couple auctions. Yep, we're in, a, we're in a lot of auctions. You guys are in auctions, right? Oh, and we got audio. Yeah. So... If you are watching the stream and you're joining the Zoom, either mute your stream or shut it off. And then, uh, anyways, I'm sure that was taken care of like that. Like photo quick. Rob Ruth is here. Hey, Rob. What's going on? Nothing. Thanks for coming, man. So excited yeah. to be here. I'm usually in bed by this time, man. Yeah, I know. Me too. Jay, it's Jay's fault. Don't look at but, me. Hey, hey, for, for Jason, I'll do anything, though. You know, right. he's, he's just that kind of guy. Sweet. Okay, so you're Rob Ruth, and you have a dealership. And where is it located? It's in uh, Dillsburg, Pennsylvania, a small town outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay, Pennsylvania. And it's uh, what? Ford? Ford. Ford, yeah, Bob Ruth Ford. Bob Ruth Ford, okay, in Pennsylvania. And it's you just one store, multiple one restaurants. store, single point, yep. All right, and so you, I'm gonna let J one, Joel, Joel. Yeah. How do you know Rob? Through Jason. Okay, and how did you guys all get together? Was it through the Jason? There you are. You're back. Unmute. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> this is right, what so, I call the hot potato. Hot potato, catch it. Hot potato. All right, so yeah, so we met uh, Rob uh, at NADA in 2019. We launched Black Widow at the the fall show in 2019. And uh, Rob found us through social media, uh, came and we we're bugging him on his phone via social media. Uh, and we installed Black Widow about two weeks after um, the NADA show. And he was looking, you know, Rob's a thinker and he just, just never satisfied. And he just wanted a faster way on his recon. And he just really understood that this is what he was missing. So Rob and I partnered up and we got him as Black Widow and got him rolling, got him trained. And, you know, it's interesting about Rob is that, yes, he is a new Ford dealer, but, you know, I'll let Rob speak to his turns and his money and how he how he turns used cars like crazy. Right. So I'm only the, the part of the recipe. It, it, it needs to have a progressive dealer tied to that. He's got to be open to it. So um, we met Rob and and he's been using Black Widow for a little over two years now. Um, and he's grown so much. We had to move his Black Widow into a small little uh, building because um, he's expanding so much. So. Rob, I'll let you kind of speak to, you know, how Black Widow yeah. helped you and, and your theory on what you've done in your dealership. So I, I saw Black Widow and I immediately thought about time. I wasn't thinking of it. We, we wanted to improve our photo process, but it was more about the time it took for photo process. So when I saw Black Widow, it solved a lot of problems for us. First of all, space, because we could put it right in our recon facility. And second, how many cars we could do and how fast we could do it. And for us, that was always our problem. Just the people that we had taking the photos, um, you know, they wouldn't show up, we'd get behind and all that just slowed us down. So when, when I saw Black, it was a no brainer for us. And we, uh, we took our time to lot. We were, we were like 12 days at the time and we got it to under five in a matter of months. And we turned our turn rate on our used car at that time, we had about 300 used cars in stock, and we went from six turns a year to 13 turns a year. And it was just about just being more efficient with the, the reconditioning process. Wow. 
So, okay, so for car hauler guys that maybe don't know what Rob's saying, <clears throat> I'll try to make it into car hauling terms, okay? Yep. And this is this is really, really interesting. I mean, like I'm learning. <clears throat> so this turn, right? You talk about the turn real quick. You said you went from six to 13, right? Correct. Okay, so what he's saying is, is and I didn't, I guess I didn't realize how much headache you guys dealt with with just taking a picture of a car. I had no idea. So explain that just a little bit more, Rob, <clears throat> if you don't mind. Like, what are some of the weird things that just like make you do this? Well, I mean, just the people, I mean, humans, that, that's, that's the, the biggest thing is the, the people that we would hire to, to take photos just couldn't keep up with the volume that we were doing. And then you're, you're not hiring, you know, you're not hiring executives to take photos. So you're hiring entry level people to do the job. And then you, you have the problems with entry level people. So we kind of eliminated a position. We saved costs. We put the black widow in and we just had our, you know, our recon team who cleans the cars. They could, they could do the black widow photo in a matter of minutes. Okay. And you're saying you bought the car on, <clears throat> we'll call that day one. Correct. Saying it you, before Black Widow, it took was did you say twelve days? It was about twelve days from the time of acquisition to the time it was frontline ready. Frontline ready. Okay. So you buy the car, then you got to pay the auction, then you got to wait for the transport guy, then it's right. got to go through service, maybe some right. your detail lot. Is that the the right order? Well, it is. I mean, the, we. We buy the car. We, as soon as we get it to the lot, the first thing we want to do is get a photo. We want to get it out marketed to the public, especially now. I mean, time is everything. Um, so the sooner that we get that car marketed, whether or not it's through service, we still get it out to the world. And then when, then we make the decision whether we push it to our service department or push it to our recon department, depending on you know where the, the jobs are that day. Okay, so this ties in well with our Friday show. We talk about what we call the melting block of ice. So there's something pushing you to go from 12 days to six days. Not all, I mean, yeah, we want the picture. We want to get it out there. We want somebody to come and buy it. But there's something else that's kind of pushing us. We call it, or at least I call it, interest. Is that kind of fair? Correct. I mean, it's just uh, holding costs. There you go. Yeah, and that adds up, right? It adds up. It's, it's <laughs> about $30 per day per car. $30 per day per car. And you have how many cars on your lot? I mean, right now we have about 200. 200. Okay. Yeah. So if you got your calculator, kids, that <laughs> that's why. Okay. So I like to shift back to the car hauler group that's watching the show. Why does the car dealer want his car so bad, so fast all the time? He just keeps yelling at me to hurry up and get it here. Listen to Rob, listen to Joel, listen to Jason, right? There's, they're pushing. They bought the car. It used to take 12 days. Now, because of Black Widow, if I'm hearing this right, the process is becoming... Black Widow has definitely helped that. Black Widow has significantly helped that process. Okay, good. All right. Jason, where are we going so far? How are we doing? Good. No, so I think I think we're, you know, with meeting Rob and everything else, I think, you know, we're kind of on the forefront. You know, COVID definitely accelerated a digital world, right? And I think a lot of them didn't see it coming. So, you know, for us, when we started... There's not a lot of Rob Roos out there, right? There's not a lot of Joel's out there. So we're able to, to kind of hodgepodge and find the right dealers that were ready to go. Well, now everybody's prime going, it's all digital, right? People don't want to, they want Amazon buy my car, right? They want VIP service, right? So, you know, for us right now, you know, I guess we were, maybe we were doom day preppers for digital photos quick, right? I mean, I never would have thought it'd been all this, but um, everybody has a purpose, right? So. Uh, working with these guys here, I think I want to kind of tie in what you've heard from Rob and kind of bring in Steve Kirch, who is our very first auction that we've ever signed up. It's been a little over three and a half years with uh, Steve. So from Steve's standpoint, um, you know, he he had a bunch of CR riders. He had a bunch of people taking photos. And Rob, as a dealer, dumped on him on a Monday, right? And so he had hundreds of cars that had to get done. So I'll introduce uh, Steve here and he can kind of talk a little bit about Black Widow and where it fixed his stuff within the auction and made it more efficient um, and gave consistency for his buyers. Hey, Steve. Hey, well, good good to be here. Uh, as you mentioned, I'm uh, auto auction in Montana and Billings, Montana. And 
you know, it's interesting listening to Rob, the, the same challenges. It's just on a different scale for us as well as at the auction. It's Groundhog's Day every week. And we we have a sale on Wednesday and Thursday. We're starting a new week. And and we could see the, the digital world, especially for us. Um, you know, everything we do is is uh, transported in. I mean, I have very few cars that are brought in locally. Everything's brought in on transport because we, our demographics and geographics are, are so spread out here. And so we knew we needed to take our, our digital to the next level um, because we could see it, it growing. And we, we have ran into the same problem of, of lack of consistency, lack of people showing up. Um, uh, 200 cars, 300 cars getting dumped on us on Monday and Tuesday that needed to be ready for Wednesday. And so it's an enormous amount. So two days a week, I don't have enough employees. And then two days a week, I could have half the employees not there. It's, it's just kind of the way it was. So it was awesome. I looked at it. I looked at every option in the industry and uh, got with Jason and they came out and we, we liked it so much. And, it, and for us, it was a big investment. It was, that was very much out of our comfort zone, the, the, the cost of the, the equipment and then then the the per car because we just we were to be frank we were old school but but we could see what it would do and it, it it's totally revolutionized what we do um in in fact overnight so we basically what we've been able to do is is very very consistent with our the quality of our pictures um i've i've cut my staff down to one cr rider which is unheard of in this industry so we have one cr rider and uh Black Widow streamlined it that much that we were able to just really dial in what we're doing and and right you know obviously COVID has changed the way we all do business especially you know short term here over the last year um, but for us we see it's not going to go away so we're selling you know forty five percent or better of our cars online um, which a lot of auctions in our area are more of the twenty percent you know fifteen to twenty percent so it's it's been it's been awesome. We liked it so much. We bought two black widows, put one at a, a recon center that we have, and they do photos for dealers in town for their retail websites. Um, so they do the clean, they clean the car. And the last, last part that we, we do for them are the photos. So it, it, it was a huge value add and another revenue stream to ha to have that black widow for, you know, our, our local dealers as well. Yeah. So also, Steve, Steve's actually got. I think he's got seven or eight trucks, right? And he yeah. built. He built probably one of the finest recon facilities I've ever seen. I mean, it, it's monstrous. I don't even know how many square feet it is, Steve. But I mean, they recon all their vehicles. Um, and I think you know, Steve will add to this that you know when it comes out of their recon facility, anybody that cleans a car or recons is able to run it through the system then. You know what I mean? So it's just another part of the process. You got to park the car anyway. Why not drive it through the Blackwood, have the images done and park it? It's ready for sale. So, um, you know, Steve being in the trucking, being in the auction and, you know, he gets an earful from the deal, right? We all need big ears. Look at these big old ears I got, right? You got to be able to listen to the problems and figure out and solve what are we going to do, right? So I, I, I can't help but think that, you know, sometimes you fall on deaf ears on your product, but, you know, it's guys like Rob and Steve that, that listened and said, okay, no, wait a minute, let's hear this guy out, right? Let's hear what he's, what, what, what his product does, right? And I've been able to build the industry based on these two guys, the dealer. And, and so the consumer controls everything, right? He controls Rob. And then Rob has to tell Steve, hey, I need my cars, right? So, and if COVID has taught us anything, that we're all relying on each other, right? Because when it stops, buddy, it stopped, right? The whole world stopped, right? So um, that's where Steve and both, you know, uh, Rob, were both able to listen to give us a chance, you know what I mean? To give them the aspirin for their headache. And I think that's where, you know, partnerships and having the right partner and then hearing what the, the pain points are to be able to solve that. And I think that's uh, why these guys are so valuable to, to Black Widow and our launch in 19. So. Okay, so this is really cool because watch this. Steve, you just said before Black Widow, your online sales were, what did you say, 20%? Yeah, we, we were about 20% just because we're spread out. But it, it was pretty common in the industry, anywhere from 10 to 15% was was 
pretty common of of the volume so we're we're significantly higher than that now i mean it, it makes our sell if if i didn't have online and i didn't have uh with with the changes and with with everything going so when COVID hit we're we're pretty blessed in our area because we're we're out in the middle of nowhere compared to big cities so we we shut down for two weeks where we did not have a live auction um the rest of the time we've we've had a live auction where where we were driving them through and we've even had we had customers uh i mean it was just a, it, it was barely a hiccup for us but what it's done all, the the huge bulk of my customers are tennessee california colorado arizona and without black widow there's no way i could keep up it, it would be i i would have had to go in the other direction i would i would have had to have 10 cr riders to keep up with what's going on so that the the cost savings have been tremendous for us and and like rob was running into if i if i'd have 10 guys that you know are making 12 to 15 bucks an hour that are going to show up every day it wouldn't happen it would mean i was out there doing crs is what what would have happened so uh, so so cr is a key word here and this is where I, I think this is interesting because you your online sales were x now they're y right mm -hmm. and in that we we were able to eliminate some hourly employees that may show up may not show up and we yeah. solved that problem but now I, okay so rob is the dealer joel's the dealer and they want to buy cars online because they're busy and they got things to do and they got a big electric bill right so they buy the cars online, and I'm sure that both of them can tell you horror stories of buying a car online with a CR report that said 4.5, and when it showed up, it wasn't quite that. So this is where I think it's interesting because there's something to this Black Widow that is, I think, AI. Is that right, Jason? Yeah. So you, you take, you know, millions of pictures the same way, and you can start learning more about the car, right? So. We'll, we'll save some of that for the uh, car conference, our announcements. But uh, yeah, we're we're still solving more problems. We're still listening, and uh, we're not done fixing the problems yet. So, okay. Well, as a whole, so I could say, hey, Joel or Rob, have you guys bought a car from an auction that used Black Widow? You got the car; it was everything it was supposed to be. Does that happen? Is that is that a fair question? Yes. Yes. Um, See, I'll buy cars from uh, uh, Columbus Fair, CFAA, and we do have a Black Widow system in there, and I'm able to view the car, zoom in on the 4K, and see the car. So it comes, it, it comes like it should. It's a big, a big difference, right? Yes. And that, it's really cool you said Columbus Fair. I follow them on LinkedIn, and mm -hmm. I love their videos and their posts. They do a great job. Okay, so <clears throat> I want to see Chris. We need to see oh, what. Yeah, let me introduce Chris. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, so Chris has got a very interesting product, and Chris, he doesn't. He's got almost big ears as I did, but he's been listening for a long time. And his partner Danny couldn't be on the show tonight, but he's a dealer as well. And where Chris is, what I call a software ninja, he was able to listen to all the problems. I think there's a lot of big conglomerates out there that tend to buy stuff and then slow down progression, right? And they try to take a square peg and a round hole, right? And where Chris came in is he he saw all the different pain points of, 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 of a Rob Ruth or a Joel, right? And he was able to take all of these softwares and put them into one platform. And his product is called VinQ. And he's he's done what the, the gorillas have not been able to do. And so so when we started to partner and talk with Chris, it's about bringing awareness to the dealers that there's a way to take all of these multiple platforms that are very expensive, right, uh, from Atlanta, and then everything's on one platform. It's easy to use, right? All the information is there. And Chris was looking at the last piece, like, all I need is the pictures. I've got all the data, right? I can tell you where that car's been, et cetera, et cetera. So Chris's company, uh, and he can speak to that, but, um, you know, we see that there's a huge opportunity for Steve Gerch, number one, because he's going to get the car. And through VinQ, we're able to then take that picture 
and deliver it to Rob Ruth while it's on the truck, right? So not only does he bring in a cheaper, more more efficient line of software to get you the information right away, but he'll also be able to facilitate our pictures instantaneously because by the time I take the pictures and I have to run them through Atlanta, I mean, it's like running through a VCR. Nobody's got time for that, right? We want instantaneous, boom, Netflix, baby, stream it, right? So, you know, in this industry, you got to be able to listen to your customer. You got to have the right partners to put together something that eases the pain of what Rob and Joel have to go through. So with that being said, I will let Chris kind of talk about uh, where he fills some holes and where he's lived his world. Sure. Um, so, yeah, we're just a, a market pricing inventory management. Um, we try to take a lot of the, the pieces that are in the middle there and automate it and put it all into one package where it belongs. So, you know, our goal really, we're a software company, uh, we're a data company, and our goal is to enable dealers. So, you know, we've built a core package that does what it does, but you, now we're in search of all the other problem solvers like Jason, who are enabling dealers. So one of our, one of our goals just as a company is to make everything real time. So the cool thing about Jason's product, other than the fact that um, the Black Widow doesn't get sick, uh, it doesn't. It always shows up for work and it does a good job every time. Um, it's also very consistent and real time. So you know, within you know, we really just started uh, the integration talks a few days ago, but probably um, a couple weeks, uh, we'll have real time photos from. Uh, Black Widow going into VinQ, and then at that point, um, you know, you can syndicate photos to, you know, all of your different third parties and your website uh, before the cars even landed on ground. And with Jason being at the other end of the auction, even, um, we want those photos as well. You should have um, photos of your car the minute you write a check for it. So um, I'm excited about all the opportunities that integrating with Black Widow. And there's a few other innovators like this that, that really add synergy to what we're all trying to do, which really is enabling dealers. Okay. The, the aspirin is coming for the, the transporters, man. We're gonna, we're gonna stream these pictures mm -hmm. much faster than the truck can drive so they can take their time and get there safely with that beautiful car. So um, it takes Maybe a village, right? it to a customer. Yep. Hear <laughs> that again, Chris? I said you might be unloading it to a paying customer. Right. Okay. And so VinQ, VinQ also enables a dealer to locate used car inventory. Is that right? We do. Uh, we have all the major auctions run list in our software. Uh, we also have a, a really nice private party acquisition system that kind of behaves as a CRM of private private party acquisition. Um, and then we're integrating with uh, several other uh, wholesale markets for vehicles actually as we speak, so. Sorry, I, I listen, <laughs> I've listened to Danny and- no, It was like, wait, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I, I know I've heard Danny talk about this and I've definitely heard that the uh what's the part the acquisition with social media the local what did you call that i'm sorry private party private party okay yeah and i've heard him do his presentation on that and that just melts my brain right from a transport guy who's used to going to an auction picking up cars bringing them back and i hear danny talking about he's buying cars in a in a pretty tight radius is that right yeah it's about um 50 miles i would say okay so, so but it also, so the, I, <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing, but I'm like, what, uh, what? You're connected with auctions? It, explain that, I'm sorry. I, that, and consumers. Whoa. Right, so mm -hmm. when you deliver the car that he's already got the photos, you can go ahead and pick up his the one he's selling. Exactly, that's right. So we do have run lists in our software. So we allow dealers to, to you know, create shopping lists and shop all the auctions. Um, as well, but uh, one of the better ways to buy cars, if you can get them, is private party acquisition. So, um, you know, one of the ways that we want to enable dealers is 
to compete with the big guys like CarMax and Carvana. And those guys have all the technology and tools, um, but the local dealer with the help of guys like us can have all the technology and tools uh, and also have a local presence and a, a face for that buyer to look at. So uh, that's our goal. Go ahead, Rob. Well, I'll give you an example. I've been working with Chris and Danny and we went from, we averaged about 15 to 20 cars a month that we'd buy from the public. Last month we did 94. Okay. Okay. And, well, sorry. I missed it. Okay. <laughs> I one more time to go super slow because this is what we, we talk about this in our little transport group here, a little club about dealers are changing the way they buy cars. Okay. Sorry. Right. Say that again. So we went, and this is just in our small area. And at, let's say a, a hundred mile radius, we went from, we averaged about 20 in the last, we went 20 average in April, we did 70 and we did 94 last month. And I think we're going to get it to 120, 150. We have to, we don't have a choice. Okay. So, the, so and now it, help it, me connect the dots here, man. Forgive us. We're, we're transport guys. And we're just trying to figure out how to serve you guys. So this is to me, really incredible but i want to ask you something too yeah go ahead i think we could set up buying centers all across i mean i'm thinking the east coast because we're only hitting one demographic area here what would stop a dealer from you know i'm in harrisburg pennsylvania let's say i go down to virginia the carolinas georgia and set up little buying centers that we could either wholesale or retail but we would need transporters yeah this well, sounds like one of those Carvana ads where the guy's like, hey, the dealer's talking about talking to transporters. Yeah. <laughs> no, but there's right, we're, we're putting them at Starbucks. You know, I mean, that's where I was getting coffee every morning. Rob will buy all your cars from Starbucks with a Black Widow hanging right outside that sucker. That'd be perfect. Yeah. Okay, so Rob, you're telling us you're, you were buying this many, now you're buying this many. And that that's, sell us, explain to us why, why that, because you smiled when you said it. So, so why does that make you smile? Because it's exciting, first of all, and nothing against the auctions, but the auction world, we compete. We're not, we're competing. It's, it's a little salesmanship and we're helping a customer out. People are selling their cars. Why wouldn't we buy it if we can? Yeah, exactly. And it's a, it's a good for you on multiple levels because Correct. building that relationship, you, you may even be saving somebody from a problem. True. 100%. So you, it's working out for you. It's helping them. And now we've established this relationship. We might be able to bring them in for service and hopefully we'll get them to come back in when they get wherever they need to be to buy another car. Right. Correct. That's part of your game. That's what, that's what car dealers want. I think. Yep. Okay. So the, the Jason, I need your help here because we've got this VIN Q, we've got Joel, we've got Rob, we've got Steve, the auction, we've got Win international. So I'm curious, with the connection with VinQ. Explain that to me one more time. The, the photos with VinQ and how that so, with this, go ahead, or Chris can. Yeah, so, yeah. so VinQ is, is the connecting dots. So it's it's like water, right? You know, the pipes are all set, right? So you gotta have all the pipes before you can get water, right? So, um, or you gotta have internet everywhere before you get your streaming video, right? So where VinQ comes in is connecting the dots from auction to dealer to consumer and then we facilitate our pictures on their f1 racetrack okay all right <clears throat> so you get the you get the pictures from wherever you get them and you give them to danny and chris vinq is that right mm -hmm. okay and then they so take we syndicate we syndicate to many different other parties but okay. vinq is the fastest and I want to say this because um, Rob's really piquing my attention with. Remember on Friday and Cars on the Move, Ty, where Paul shared an ad, or was it was it Tim, where Jermaine was using photos and pricing, comparing themselves to the national guys, right? Those national guys, and to to prove to the consumer they would pay more to buy their car. And again, you're using photos, you're using market data. I could see this buying center. This is a great idea. I think, mean, Rob, you, you, know, you don't need me to tell you that, but you're, I mean, you're right on. That's how you compete nationally. Well, explain it some more, Rob. Let's hear it. 
<laughs> it's just a it's just a different way to source vehicles. I mean, we still buy from the auctions, we trade, but look at us now. We don't, new car inventory is is depleted. Okay, auction prices are through the roof. We yeah, still got to make money. So we got to be creative and find other ways. This is just a great opportunity to dive into something else. And to me, I just think it's something we keep going with, even when new car inventory comes back. Yep. Yep. It's just going to make you stronger and better. better. Yep. For sure. We're, we're all stuck in a box here on zoom, but we're all outside the box, right? So it's kind of like the transformers, you know, we're all old enough here. Paul to says throw out the box. box. Yeah. It throws the box out. Yeah. There's nothing in that box. So, I mean, everybody in here, is never satisfied, right? Everybody in here is always trying to find another way. See, you can't, you can't beat people that don't quit, right? And you're not, I mean, you can try to bury us, but you bury a seed, it's just going to grow. And if you don't see our growth, we got roots underneath, right? So we, we're, we're in a box, but we're, we're a tight circle, right? And we come up with solutions that, that work and we listen to the pain points. And um, it's, it's been rough to get through to kick down some doors, but it's really fun to help. It really feels good. You know, the money is great, but it feels good to fix this problem. And this team on this call here and a few others there, we're going to fix it. So hopefully we have a few minutes left. I want to say this, Ty, is that we talked about kind of where, where we were and where we are now. You mentioned 2019. Luckily, I was at that show. And that was the first time I saw Black Widow, you know, and I saw a lot of other people going, what is that? <laughs> so uh now it's 2021 car conferences in two weeks can we get a sneak peek some of the ideas you don't have no giant reveals but w what is next and not just for you jason but but everybody here i mean rob's told us a little bit about what he's thinking i want to hear what everyone's thinking yeah so the car conference you know we're going to be there the black will actually be there live uh, we'll be dead center in the room. So if you want to see it live for the first time, uh, we'll be able to do live demos, um, private meetings. Um, yeah, anybody wants to come out and see it. So this would probably be the the third time that someone would actually see that live. So we had that two year, almost year and a half gap with COVID. So anybody wants to come out and see it, they're more than welcome. Uh, we will be unveiling, um, you know, our condition reports uh, with our partners uh, at uh, at the car conference. So. You'll be able to see that live detecting damages. Um, and what's great about it, you know, coming for Rob and for Steve Gertz, et cetera, um, you know, the process in which we do this does not change for the user. So the same guy that's just driving through, he is now a inspector, uh, CR writer, and a photographer all in one, and nothing changes on that process. So um, it's about uh, keeping it simple, stupid. Um, you know, so we really try to pride ourselves in that. So, um, you know, what else we can add to that to give, uh, transparency for Rob or for Joel or any dealer, um, we won't stop until they're happy and, uh, they always need something new and they always need an edge and we're here to give it to them. So, uh, what we launch a car and what we do next is everything. We don't stop. Black Widow don't stop. Doesn't quit 24 seven, baby. We don't, we don't stop. So it always be looking for something new coming out of this place. <clears throat> That's really cool. We were, I've, I've got a quick question for Steve and I thinking outside the box, we were, we had another show. I don't remember who it was, Jay, but it was Scott Kolb, Kolb, I might be saying it wrong, but he, yeah. we were, I was telling man, Scott wouldn't it be cool if we had the Black Widow, Steve, mm. as we're checking the car out and as a as the carrier, I don't know how you guys do it, but we we go find the car in the in the parking lot. We bring it by the truck, we walk around it, we take pictures, then we load it. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm always in a hurry, always. And um, I thought, wouldn't it be great? Is if we're pulling out of that auction, it takes all the pictures from there to truck to dealer. I don't need to take any more pictures. You've got them. And so Scott used this term chain of custody. What are, what are your, do you have any thoughts on that, Steve? Yeah, that's actually an area that, that would be in the next phase for us to launch with it. I think there's a huge niche there of, with some minor changes on our end so that it would, uh, a transporter could drive it back through the Black Widow for, for the customer 
And then, so say, say Rob buys a car at our auction, the transporter gets it, drives it back through the back black widow and it sends to Rob, the picture's already done. So, you know, that's, that's a huge advantage, especially for, for some of these, you know, speed to market, um, you know, and, and ours is set up such that, that basically you drive through, we, we turned our old recon center and an old automatic car wash bay into a black, a, the black widow bay. So you just drive through it. It automatically scans it and takes pictures and you keep on driving. Well, you've got trucks and drivers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you deliver cars from your auction to a dealer, mm -hmm. what, what do your drivers do? How does that work? Well, our drivers, because they can access, so they, they can even access the condition report. Um, so if, if they're wanting to see that from a driver's standpoint of identifying the, the condition and, and, and damages on the vehicle, they can automatically pull that if they so choose to do so. Um, and then, you know, for us, so we, we have some local dealers that are, are local-ish uh, stores that, that are wanting the photos um, you know, and that's, that's an area Jason and I have talked about of, of developing for us as an auction, a, a whole new revenue stream of, you know, to be able to offer the dealer, Hey, for, for 10 bucks, a car or whatever, we can have, you know, your photos, those photos done and to you the day you're, you, you purchase the car. And instead of sending them, you know, we'd have to make some minor adjustments, but there, there's a huge area there that we need to develop and, and launch for our buyers for sure because they, they could they could they could have the photos with their their store overlay on it the day they bought the car you know sent directly to them and then it because we we're we are like i say we're in we're in the middle of nowhere um always looking for good help with transport because it's it takes so long to get you know to get cars out of our area you know some of these guys will be Oh, 10 days to two to three weeks, depending on where it's going and how many they purchased. Yeah. What does that do for you, Rob? I mean, let's, I mean, think about that, right? I mean, Rob took it from 13 days to six days. And now if he buys, you know, an auction, if he could have that at day one, I mean, I mean, we marketed it at day one from day six, Rob. I mean, I think it, you know, it, you're talking about money. You're putting money into a car. You want to turn that money. So think about it from the end consumer. If they're doing more online, because the consumer's doing more online, I mean, they're willing to do more online. They're not gonna do anything if they don't see what they're looking at. I mean, they wanna see a photo of the car. So without that, if, if you know, what Steve said, if there's two, three weeks, you've got money tied up in something, you got two, three weeks until it gets to your facility, that's three weeks of time that you didn't even have a chance to get that potential customer's attention. Because the, the clock starts the day you buy, right, Rob? Clock I mean, that's starts. you got to you got to start the clock. The, the ice cube starts melting right then. Yeah. Well, especially in today's market, because, like Rob mentioned, is it's with the with shortage of new inventory, prices at the auction are are you know through the roof so as sellers are really happy you know but right. but uh the the sooner and, and so you know that's an area we would love to develop too for our people because i mean i want our dealers to be happy with it and i mean if they if they could show if the cars are being delivered and they're already sold because they were posted on day one rather than the you know the corny stock photo but it you know the real pictures of this car you know, that'll be the next phase for us to develop for sure. It used to be a 90 day turn. Now it's a 30 day turn. Yeah. You know, used to look, oh, 90 days or 60 days. It's, it's 30 days. You know, we have 30 days really that we have to turn this car. That's intense. And I, I think that's, you know, as a, as a car hauler, that's, that's like somehow, I don't know how, I think I just figured it out because the guy kept calling me, where's my car, but <clears throat> I mean, the more you as a car hauler, again, I'm talking to the car hauler gang here, but it's so true that you're like, why are they calling me? Right. <laughs> you got to start to wonder why, why do they keep calling me? Well, it's not that they're dragging their feet. It's just, there's a lot that goes into it. And if they get in a rush, I mean, that car is going to, 
fall off the trailer. I mean, God knows. I mean, it's just they don't realize how much goes into it. But yes, this does ease up a lot of their pain for sure. So we're I was a trucker. I mean, I drove a truck, man. I mean, that's not easy, you know, and it sucks when you're doing everything you can and you can't fix it. You know, when you're going as fast as you can, working as late as you can, you're away from your kids, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So, I mean, for that, there's the trucks can't go any faster, you know. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, that's that's what we're fixing here. There's a faster way to do it uh, while the truckers can get there safe. And that's why we connected with ATI, because we want to speak to the truckers, because they can all relate. They can relate to getting yelled at. You know, yeah. they don't care. They don't care if a hydraulic line broke and there's seven miles of hydraulic line and they can't find out where it's leaking and they can't leave. They don't care. Where's my car? We don't have Ashton Kutcher on the show, do we? For dude, where's my car? We're not. That's later. That's on, that's next show. <laughs> where's he my car? He jumps out of the cake in car, right? Car conference. Anything can happen. <laughs> well, the, I, I guess we're... Um, like listen to Joel, listen to Rob, Chris. Chris is Chris is at a dealership uh, in Kansas City, I believe. Is that right, Chris? Are you up there? Uh, yeah, I'm actually the the software end of it. Danny's at a dealership in Kansas City. Okay, got it. Danny's Country Pride, uh, independent used car lot, and they sell a bunch of used cars, right? They Quite do. They sell a ton of retail and about one and a half times as many uh, wholesale. So, oh, really? Yeah. So wholesale is a big deal. Um, shuffling cars around. Are you? What are you seeing on your wholesale, Joe? Um, well, we, we send some cars to the auctions. Um, so we do have transporters that we've worked out good relationships with. So um, we're moving cars around as well. I wonder is it, is the Black Widow going to get to the place where a guy like Joel or Rob has the Black Widow at his store? He just runs it through his. Is wholesale units through there and Post sends them up online? Yeah. Sends, is that where VinQ comes in on the dealer inventory, maybe? Absolutely. That That's a partnership between VinQ and Black Widow for sure. I see. So that so as, a, as a, the dealer can upload his photos of his wholesale units to VinQ, VinQ, all the dealers that are Part of VinQ can yep. buy to the world. Right. Okay. And I like that you're putting that together, aligning the stars, because I think that we can, we're seeing it tonight, and it was on the Auto Transport 21 show when we had Jason and Joel and Scott, and there were also transporters asking questions, and again in the Cars on the Move show that you did in St. Louis. So I think I think transporters are, are, are wondering, so where does Black Widow... We're learning the dealer and the auction, the service lane. Where does the transporter interact with Black Widow? I think some of the carriers yeah. are wondering that. Yeah, so, I mean, whether it's coming off, as Ty calls it, the row row, right? So the new car inventory coming off the boat. Um, and at that point, it either gets on a truck or it gets on a rail. And we picture it when it gets off the rail and then goes on another truck. So the... The intersection point of Black Widow, the drive-through, goes anywhere. It, it doesn't matter anywhere in the supply chain. Um, and here, even after it leaves Steve's auction, if it gets T-boned, I mean, we'll, we'll trace it all the way down to the junkyard, right? So the, the co-parts of the world, right? Um, before they get scrapped, you know? So that kind of ties back into our insurance side of things. So think of, think of Black Widow will be at any sector the same way Amazon tracks the package. You know, so it's at any hub anywhere in the global supply chain. I saw another guy posting here. Can you do power sports? Yeah, absolutely. We work with some of the biggest power sports dealers in the country, right? Motorcycles. I mean, we've got a we got ranchers in, in, in Texas to take pictures of cattle. So there's no 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 limit to when and what needs to be pictured. Palleted crates, John Deere tractors. It doesn't matter, right? So we want to give transparency anywhere that it's needed at any part of the hub, at any part in the global supply chain, and give that bilingual picture that everybody with eyeballs can understand. So uh, there's no limit to just cars. That's just what we know. But everything, if you if you enjoy anything at a store, it, it probably came on a truck, right? So uh, we can intercept it anywhere it's needed to give transparency to the customer and uh, upgrade this blockbuster system to Netflix. And 
And a follow-up then, so following up on what Joel was saying about CRs, because um, we know that it's not just the photo, what yep. about the information, the details, yep. the standardization so, of grades? Yes, please. Yep. So that's what we're entering into that, you know, with this consistency, we're able to do machine learning with our partners and be able to deliver not only what we see as an imperfection, but then also they have the ability to zoom and verify that. So, um, you know, this is a process. You have to continually do this to make it better and better, right? Um, they still launch dial-up, even though everybody hated it, right? So you got to start somewhere. But yes, we have we like to think that we've got a, a good system to be able to build off of. And as we run, you know, hundreds of thousands of cars, it gets better and smarter, right? Um, as we do, as we learn, right? So, um, you know, that's something that, you know, as we're able to provide that information, well, that's going to take off. The, the pain points and pointing fingers. Did, did the truck do it? Did the rail do it? Did it come out of the port like that? Did the boat damage it? Did Billy do it? Did Freddie do it? You know what I mean? There's just, we just eliminate all that noise and headache, right? There would be no more finger pointing, right? And, you know, I'm sure people won't like it. I'm sure there was unhappy people with their dull axe when the chainsaw came out, but that's called innovation. And we're all here for certain purposes. And I'm here to fix the transparency that is broken at all of these stops. So, um, you know, excited to be a part of it. It won't make everybody happy, but you know, there's uh, there's a lot to be fixed and that's what we do. So. And so with that gap in the synapse where the nerves connect and things get communicated, CR meets driver's vehicle inspection. Are we gonna, are we gonna get there? Is this how, is this one of the ways we get there? Because I, I always say, the driver's BOL, he does it, he or she does it, and then once the car gets delivered, just go ahead and throw that in the round file. We're not going to need that anymore. What are you talking about? That's valuable data to that vehicle. Yeah. Shouldn't it get attached to the yeah. to the history yeah. of the vehicle? So as we start doing this, you know, you know, this database that we're collecting at all of these points will be very valuable, uh, included with you know, Chris's data, um, you know, that we would be able to uh, get the life cycle of this car from birth to copart. And that's valuable. Womb to tomb. Um, guys. Womb to tomb. I haven't heard that one, Ty. That's good. I stole it from somebody else. I promise I didn't come up with it. We have heard that Is womb that like to tomb. That's, that's trademark. No, 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 no. <laughs> But anyway, um, this has been really awesome for me. I, again, I hear Rob Ruth all the time. Uh, Danny, Ben Q, Chris, it was so awesome to meet you. Wynn, Joel, Steve. Steve is, I mean, I feel like I could just move to Montana and help Steve the rest of my life. Uh, hauling cars and auctions, I love both. So, And I love the middle of nowhere. But um <clears throat> This is really informative, and I, I think the takeaway for the kit, transport guy is I think there's a level of accountability coming that benefits us because there are guys that do transport cars that do have ethics, morals, and integrity, do own it when they damage it, and when they don't, they're willing and able to work out a deal because they understand the value of the relationship. You know, I, I can't tell you how many times, Ty, I don't remember buying a car like this, I don't remember transporting like that, but I'll tell you what, I'll pay half if you pay half. Okay, de deal. You know, and sometimes I pay all the damage, but the point being is, is that I'm building trust, I'm building that relationship. And this, to me, I see this as a, an incredible opportunity for a car hauling company to further establish that trust relationship with your customer, who should be, in my opinion, a dealer and an auction. If you want to haul cars, I like car dealers and I like auto auctions yeah. and I think that what I'm seeing and learning and you know I every time I talk to Jason and Black Widow I always learn something more and I always get more excited because I, I can I'm starting to see it I'm a slow learner well, so it, it, to even to even speak to the auctions you know I mean you know we want to help them right but here Steve as an auction right you know the the, the truckers they're not going to be able to do everything but you know the auctions that they're hauling from they they need the auction needs to have a Black Widow Number one, you're going to save money. Does everybody not like saving money? You're going to have efficiency. You're going to sell more cars digitally, right? And then you can monetize my product to the dealer and give him what he wants and get the paint off the trucker. I mean, like, 
Well, and if you sell that. more cars, we get to move more cars. Right. So yeah. why has everybody been kicking me in the head for five years? I don't know. <laughs> but, I don't know. Get in line. Welcome to the party. Well, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> you can't you can't bury a seed and not expect us to grow, man. You can't do that. It doesn't work, you know? Anyway, that was awesome. And I'm looking forward to hanging out with Black Widow, Jason, Joel uh, in Vegas. Rob, are you going? I'm not. Chris? Absolutely. Oh, all right, good. I guess Steve? Well, we'll <laughs> see. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably not. We're, we're running and getting as fast as we can right now. Understood. Wynn will be there, right, Wynn? Yep. Good. Okay, well, I just want everybody to know that I hog. I'm a hogger. <laughs> I'm <not> hogs. <laughs> Jeez, I was just asking about masks a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I didn't even mention hugging. Yeah. Oh. All right. But anyway, that was an awesome show, guys. Thank that was. you so much. Thanks, everybody, Thanks, so everybody much for joining us. I really appreciate great. it, guys. Thanks. 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 Nice to meet you all. Bye-bye. Thanks for the time. Have a good night. All right. And the meeting is over, and that's it. Wow, that was... Uh, yeah, that was neat. That was neat. Um, that is, I think, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go out on a ledge because I do that several times a Tuesday night. Um, is that I think that the uh, the clubhouses that the clubhouses that Ty goes to on the iPhone. I don't have an iPhone, so I don't. I'm not in clubhouse, but um, that's what they're talking about. Uh, inventory deals turnaround time there's a lot of statistics going around in the dealer um lot so that was neat to see some of that live on ati um and hopefully we still i think we still i think we kept the bulk of the audience because the the one of the one of the challenges every tuesday night is we continue to expand into the multiverse of automotive verticals is to hang on to our core uh competency auto transport but also weave in uh, the elements of the other verticals as it pertains to us. And, um, I mean, auto transport is core to automotive sales. So that's neat. Really neat. Thank you guys so much. I really want to thank... Uh, I want to thank Murphy Auto Transport Services, of course. I want to thank Super, Superflow Systems, of course. Um, I want to thank... Thank you, Black Widow. Thank you so much for your participation, support. Uh, we're looking forward to Car Conference. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be in two weeks. You heard all about it, so I will leave it at that. Thank you so much, Black Widow. I want to thank all my guests tonight. Jason, Joel, Ty. We had Steve. We had Chris. We had Rob. And we had Wynn. That was a big show. That was a large panel, and it was wonderful. Very informative. If you missed any part of this, go back and watch it. Put your comments below in the YouTube comments. Thanks for joining the live chat. Also, thank you, United Road. Remember, go nbta.org to learn more about the Knowledge Center. You can become a free classic member and get information in the Knowledge Center. And again, I want to thank everybody. Thank you guys so much for jumping in the live chat. Thank you for your super chats tonight. Uh, super Dispatch and Chris Chamberlain and four, was it four, five transport? Wow. And in fact, I just saw, yeah, 54 Transport LLC. Um, and yeah, for those of you that just went into the Auto Transport Intel and signed up. Wow, very cool. We have signups during the shows now, which is awesome. So don't forget, tell your friends, autotransportintel.com. And thank you so much for liking and sharing the link tonight. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on another Tuesday night. Don't forget, you can join us tomorrow on DOT Compliance at noon. I hope to see my core in there asking questions. You're not obligated. You're not required. You don't have to. But if you have a question, this is the 30 minutes. You can get a live answer in the live chat with your DOT guy, Brian Riker. And right now, Thursdays on Dispatching Live, that is that shows off the hook because... Load boards have gone crazy, too. All the automotive has gone crazy. So, oh, what do we got here? Audio, audio. Uh, audio. Uh, audio. 
<laughs> What's he saying? Anyways, I gotta go. I gotta run. It is bedtime, everybody. Get to it. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay safe. Please let me know how I can help, and I'll see you tomorrow at noon. Peace out, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>